Hi everybody. In this video we are going to make diatonic chord progressions using the chord degree function. So first I want to talk a little bit about what diatonic means um, in relation to chord progressions and just in general. So diatonic basically means anything that musically comes from a specific key. Uh, so this could be a note, a chord, a melody, a chord progression, uh, anything that is coming from a specific key. Now, just to be clear, a key in music refers to a scale from which all or most of the notes in the song come from. Now, this is an oversimplification of a key, uh, and certainly songs can change key at any point, but the idea is if like, a song is in the key of G, for example, then we can assume the melody and the scale uh, from which that melody was derived and the chords of the song all come from the G major scale. So everything is kind of centered around this G major scale, which is why the melody and the chords and everything will fit together and sound like they all go together because they are all kind of coming from this one point, which is the scale. And so anything that's diatonic would be uh, in reference to any note or chord that is coming from the scale like the key of G. Now the name of the key comes from the root note of the scale that is being used. So if we say we're in the key of G, that is because uh, the scale that we are referring to would be a G major scale, or it could be a minor scale. We're going to kind of look at it from a major point of view right now. And now when we're making music in a key or we're making something that's diatonic, everything is related back to the root note. So because of this, everything can be referred to as a number instead of a note. And the numbers related to a key are often written in Roman numerals. So here we see these would be the diatonic chords of a C, the key of C. So here we have one, and then two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Uh, you'll notice some of these Roman numerals are uppercase. That indicates that they are major chords. Some of them are lowercase, which indicates that they're minor chords. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about how we would know if it was major or minor. But the idea is, is that since everything is kind of related to the root note, which the root note would be one, um, everything in relation to that can be referred to by a number. So two would be the second note of the scale, three would be the third note of the scale, four would be the fourth note of the scale, etc. So for chord progressions, we can use Roman numerals uh, to indicate a diatonic chord progression, which would indicate just sort of the movement of chords in that song and each chord again being related to the key uh, that we are working. So for example, this would be a one, six, two, five chord progression. Uh, depending on what key you're in, that will kind of dictate what specific chords it in, but the, the harmonic movement is going to be the same no matter what key you are in. So it's going from a one chord to a six chord to a two chord to a five chord. Um, so that would just mean that no matter what scale we're using, the first chord is going to start on the first note of the major scale in that key. The sixth chord is going to start on the sixth note of the major scale in that key. The second chord or the two chord is going to start on the second note of the major scale and the five chord is going to start on the fifth note. So if we were doing this in say F major, that one, six, two, five would look like a F major, then a D minor, then a G minor, then a C, because we can see F is the first chord, then D is the sixth chord, G is the two chord, and C is the five chord. Again, when I say six, two, five, I'm referring to what number that note is in relation to the root note, which is one. And then if we were to do that same one, six, two, five in C major, the one chord is C, the six chord is A, the two chord is D, and the five chord is G. So that was a very quick kind of crash course in what we mean when we talk about a diatonic chord progression, okay? So just to kind of start us out, I'm just going to put up a major scale here. Um, so let's do like a C major scale. So I run that, and we look over here in the console. These are the notes in that scale, right? As, as 
put as MIDI notes here, okay? So what this chord degree function is going to do is we can enter a chord uh, and by indicating a Roman numeral, um, we will get that number chord from the key that we want it to be in. So the chord degree, we need to specify which number chord we want. In this case, it's referred to as a degree, but basically that number in relation to the root, the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, we need to indicate the tonic, which is the root note of the scale, so what key we're in. Uh, we also need to indicate the scale. Uh, in, I'm just going to be looking this within the context of major, as is sort of the most traditional way to be thinking about this, at least within Western uh, harmony. Um, and then we also can specify the number of notes we want. So do we want our chord to have four notes? Do we want it to have three notes? Do we want it to have five notes? Um, it defaults to four, but we might cut it down to three in a little bit. Okay, so what this would look like is I'm going to put, so I'm going to do chord degree. I'm just going to do the one chord and of a, with the C as a root note, and we're going to do a major. Uh, I'm going to leave out the fourth argument, which is just going to default to four notes in our chords. Now, if I run this, uh, so here I get my major scale, and now this is, would be the one chord of a C major scale. So we have 60, 64, 67, 61. So one thing I want to point out here is uh, the reason all these chords are considered diatonic and they fit into the major scales, the way these chords are constructed is we start on the first note. So in this case, it's a one. So we would start on the first note of the scale. And then we just skip a note in the scale. So we have 60, and then if we skip 62, we get 64, which is the next note in the chord. We skip 64, and we, or we skip 65, and we go to 67, and be the next note in our chord, and then we skip 69, and we go to 71. That would be that note. So uh, the chords, these diatonic chords uh, that fit within the key that we are playing in are made as a result of just kind of starting on a note and then skipping every other note and stacking the ones that we wind up on. So just to kind of indicate another example of that, if I were to do the two chord here, so this is now saying play a note, the two chord of the key of C major, which would start on the second note of the C major scale, which would be a D. So now if we run this, you see we get 62, 65, 69, 72. And if we look over the scale here, we have 62. We skip a note, we get 65. We skip a note, we get 69. We skip a note, we get 72. Um, and we could keep going. So we could make this a three. And then that starts on the third note. We see 64, so we're starting on the third note of the scale, 67, 71. And then if we kept going, uh, we'd get up to 74. So that's kind of the theory behind all of this, but I want to get into now sort of the practical application of how we could use this in our code. So I'm going to now make a live loop uh, called, we'll just call it prog for like the progression here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is play chord degree. And again, I'll just start on the one chord and then this C is the key of C major. Here I'm going to release for four just so the chord holds out. I'm going to put the go to sleep for four. So I run it. So I just get that C major chord. That's actually a C major seven chord, given that we have uh, the four notes in it. So also I'll just show you, I can add a fourth argument here, which is, I believe, let me check the documentation uh, of here, is number of notes. Uh, oh, I, I don't even have to write anything. I just can put a number here. Um, so I'm going to put three, okay? Uh, so now this will just give me a three note chord. Okay, 
as we can hear, see here in what was played in the log was just 60, 64, and 67. Again, starting on the first note, 64, 67. Um, but what we want to do is make a chord progression. So what I'm going to do is above my live loop, I'm just going to create a variable. I'll call it progression. And I'm going to make it a ring. And this ring is just going to be the Roman numeral progression uh, of the chords that I want. So I'm going to do a 1. I guess I'll do that 1, 6, 2, uh, 2, 5 progression. Now, um, in traditional harmony, we would uh, indicate a major chord with a uppercase letter and minor chords are lowercase letters. In the case uh, here in Sonic Pi, though, they're all going to be lowercase. So now I can take this ring, this progression, and I'm going to put that here in the first argument. So I'm going to do progression.tick. And so now it's just going to tick through this chord progression uh, of a 1, 6, 2, 5, progression. So here we go. So that is it. That is a the sound of a 1625 chord progression. Uh, I'm just going to bump up the BPM a little bit here. So we're 90, uh, so we can hear that again. basically all there is to it so that is a diatonic chord progression so if you've been wanting to make uh, songs that are in a certain key but you're not really sure of maybe the theory or you don't know exactly what specific chords would fit into a given key this is a great way to kind of get around all that theory knowledge and you can just experiment with different patterns of these uh, Roman numerals as long as you choose a certain key. So I'm going to do another one. That's a very, very popular uh, chord progression here. It's in hundreds of pop songs. So this is a one, five, six, four progression here. So you could experiment, you could try any combination of Roman numeral numbers from one to seven. Now, I'm just sticking with like a four chord progression here. You could make it a three chord progression. You could make it uh, a longer than that. You could make it six or seven or eight chords. Um, you could change the sleep so certain chords last for longer. Uh, but one more thing I just wanted to show is that if you're working in a diatonic chord progression, it's very easy to then add some kind of melodic element over it by simply just using notes within the same scale that you are kind of referencing here. So the same root note and uh, scale quality, which would be in this case major. So here I can make maybe another live loop here and I'll just call it melody. Uh, and so I'm just going to play a scale. Let's so I'm going to do again a C4. Maybe I'll do C5 just to make it cut through a little so it's not exactly the same notes. It's going to be a little higher. And I'm just going to do a major scale here. And I'm also going to make it two octaves here. So I'm just going to do dot choose. And then I will sleep for maybe like 0 0.5 here. 
Uh, and so regardless, this these randomly chosen notes from this major scale, the C major scale, are all going to work well with this diatonic chord progression that is also all coming from the key of C. So let's just give this a try. I'm sorry, I'm going to, that's a little high pitched. I apologize for that. So I'm going to take this, the chords down an octave, and I'm going to take the scale down an octave. Diatonically, that all works. Clearly, there's some notes that maybe don't quite jive, depending on what note it is in relation to what chord's playing at that time. So you could also just get use the notes of the C major scale and try and craft your own specific melody from it uh, and see what works for you. This was just a very quick kind of random demonstration just to sort of show how the scales and the chords all are kind of coming from the same key center. You could also experiment with some modes, so if we're working off a of major, we could then experiment with, you know, some Dorian or some Lydian or some Mixolydian and just change the root note to kind of fit with that, um, but that's uh, for another topic, okay? But that is all there is to it as far as making diatonic chord progressions using the chord degree function.